In this video, we are going to mesh a knuckle, which is a 3D component. First, we'll check the default mesh of ANSYS. The elements generated by ANSYS are bad, so they have to be refined by manual meshing. Resolution is only applicable when element size is not used. Adaptive sizing function can be used when the element size including other parameters are unknown. Resolution gives the range of element size where 0 is coarse and 7 is fine. Now we'll check the quality of force element. We can observe the elements are in worst condition. So the resolution must be increased to generate a good quality elements. can observe there is a drastic change in quality of element just by increasing the resolution from coarse to fine. Mesh D featuring option is used only to remove any fillets or chamfers which are not required to be meshed. Here we are trying to remove this fillet by using mesh D featuring option. Here we had used the size of D featuring as 10 mm. So any fillet or curvature having less than 10 mm will be removed from the geometry and meshed. Transition is also known as the rate of growth of elements. If it is fast, all the elements will not be uniform. If it is slow, the elements will be uniform. In fine transition, the element size will be uniform as per shown in the figure. Let's see a comparison between slow and fast transition elements. Here we can observe slow transition has created 6 rows of elements and fast transition has created 4 rows of elements. By this we can say that the quality of elements produced by slow transition are better than the fast transition elements. Span angle center option is used to capture the curves. Span angle is the angle between the lines of the triangle capturing the curve. Here alpha is the span angle. Higher the angle, higher the angle, less number of triangles are formed near the curve. The accuracy in the results will be decreased when more span angle is used. When fine span angle is used, more number of triangles are generated. Accuracy will be increased when fine span angle is used. Here we can observe more number of elements are created near the curves when fine span angle is used.
I will check the results of course span angle. Here we can see no extra elements are created near the curve by using a course span angle. Initial size seed is only used when an assembly is analyzed. Element size function should not be specified if resolution function is used. If it is specified, software will not take value of resolution into consideration while meshing. So element size function should be uh, avoided when resolution function is used. Relevance and resolution both are one and the same. Here we will see what happens when element size function is used with resolution value given. We got better quality elements even the value of resolution is low. By this we can say that the software uses only element size function when it is specified. In the next video we are going to discuss about meshing without using adaptive size function.